Welcome to Excel for Business with Ray Cologne. Lesson 3 Math Functions Sum, Sum If, Count, and Count If. We'll be using these four functions in a sample database. This database has been scaled down for viewing ease, but it, these functions, of course, will work on much larger data sets. <clears throat> we'll begin with Sum. That's a function everyone is probably familiar with. It's obtained by typing equals sum, open parenthesis, and then you highlight the area that contains the data you want to sum, close parenthesis. So the total salaries here we have as, here we have the total. You can also obtain sum by just clicking on this auto sum button and you'll have the same result. Okay, <clears throat> that's one we're all familiar with. But what if you wanted to sum the salaries of only the female employees? You would accomplish that with sum if. So let's begin. Equals sum if, open parenthesis. <clears throat> you indicate the range that contains the criteria that you'll be looking for. So in this case, since we're looking for females, we will highlight the range that contains the genders, comma. Then we'll say what the criteria is, and we'll enclose it in qu double quotes. Double quote, F, double quote, comma. And then we'll indicate the range that contains the salaries we want to sum. Close parenthesis. You can see it returned 199.709. And if we were to sum the female cells, we see that it gave us the correct result. <coughs> you can also use sum if if you have a box in which you want the formula to search. So let's suppose that in this box here, we wanted to indicate either F or M for gender we would modify our sum if formula thusly equals sum if as before we would highlight the range that contains the gender comma this time we will just click on the cell that we will be searching that contains our criteria comma and then we'll highlight the salaries close parenthesis you can see it returned the same 199, but now it's a little more flexible because if we change this to an M, it'll return the salaries for just the males. You can do the same thing with any field. For instance, if we wanted to do this formula for different departments, we would be able to do equals, sum if, open parenthesis, we want the salaries and we're going to check departments, so we'll highlight that, comma, we'll select this cell again, comma, and we'll highlight the salaries. So it returned nothing because we had an M here. We're searching by department, so if we were to change this to sales, we'd have the salaries for everyone in sales. Lastly, we could use this formula to tell us how many Oh, let me go back a bit. <clears throat> Let's return to our list. Okay, now we'll try count. Equals count. And selecting a range will tell us how many items there are, rather than summing them. So now we see we have eight items. Now if we were to try to do that, with a non-numeric field such as gender equals count open parenthesis highlight that field it returns zero because count only tries to count numerical values we can get around that if we want to know how many females there are by, by changing the formula to count if equals 
count if. Again, we'll set up the range. I'll bring one in the agenda. And then we'll enter the criteria. In double quotes, count if returns five because there are five females. We can change that to search for the males equals count if, open parenthesis, highlight the field, comma, and close an M in double quotes, close parenthesis. And there we have three males in the list. So as you can see, the combination of these four functions can be very useful for manipulating data.